Hi, hope you're all doing well. In this short video, I'm gonna be talking about training volume and why sometimes lowering that can actually lead to better results. So more is not always better. Sometimes you may need to do less to actually benefit from doing more. One step back and two steps forwards definitely holds true for training. All too often I see people that are training consistently and frequently, spinning the wheels, caught in a vicious cycle, not seeing the kind of progress they want to, despite training frequently. Um, and it's a, a very frustrating position for them because they're thinking, you know, it, it, what what more can I do to see progress? You know, magically uh, expecting to wake up and see, you know, more muscle mass. So if you're doing the same thing, you know, the same protocol, the same number of days of training per week, the same number of sets, the same exercises, the same rep ranges, then, you know, you can't really expect to see any different results. So you have to look at the variables that can manipulate your ability to put on muscle mass. So outside of the gym, what can you do to change that? Well, there are many variables, obviously the quality and quantity of sleep. A really simple one would be the amount of food that you're consuming. So you could perhaps insert in 500 more calories per day. That will help you gain weight, which will carry over to an increase in strength on the big lifts, which will eventually carry over um, to more muscle mass. Um, if you're doing the correct kind of protocol with good form. Um, obviously inside the gym there are a number of protocols that you can manipulate to increase your chances of gaining more muscle mass. You know, you need to look at your rep ranges, the sets you're doing, how hard are you training, is the intensity high enough? You know, you might think you're training hard, but are you really training hard enough? You know, the rep cadence, use of advanced techniques and the recovery, the rest in between training sessions is very, very important. So that's one easy thing that you can change to see better progress. So say for example, you're doing five or six days of training, you may be doing a traditional split or you know a high volume approach like push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And a lot of people do train with higher frequency but just don't see the results they want to. So you could then maybe drop to a lower volume approach and the easiest way of doing that is just reducing the number of days that you train. So to a full body routine or a basic four, body, uh, four day a week push pull or upper lower something like that then instantly you're going to see an increase in strength on your key lifts because you've got more rest in between sessions it's more chance of recovery you're going to be less tight in general because you're doing less work you know you're not hammering the same joints every single day so your lifts are going to feel better you're also going to be more motivated um, and have a lot more mental energy going into sessions you're also going to be looking forward to it because of the day off so there are a number of benefits of, of, of lower frequency training um, that can really help you out, kind of start to see some, some quicker progress again in the gym. So with the high volume training, your recovery ability will be quite low. So this will re result in more fatigue building up, more tightness building up, more potential for injuries perhaps. Um, which will manifest itself in either a decrease in strength or the very best perhaps a maintenance of strength if you don't change any of those variables either inside the gym or outside the gym. Because when you switch to a low volume program you've got an increased ability to recover between sessions so a low overall fatigue level and this will show itself in an increase in strength and an ability to gain uh, more strength and put more weight on the bar more quickly. So for example, you could maybe do 10 to 16 weeks on a high volume program, you know, five, six days of training with a number of sets before maybe going to a lower volume program such as full body or a four day a week routine for maybe four to eight weeks. You know, I'm not bashing high volume training. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying that sometimes you may need to take a step back in terms of the frequency of training, overall volume of training to see the progress that you want to and switch into a low volume routine like full body can sometimes be just you know what the doctor ordered in terms of your muscular progress. I just really want to highlight the effectiveness of switching between the two routines and how beneficial sometimes that can be physically and mentally. It's also important to note that you more than likely will make some of your best progress on a high volume routine but you won't be able to see the results because you'll be so fatigued and there'll be a lot of tightness especially on those kind of key compounds that will prevent you from lifting a lot of weight. Um, you know, take uh, the specialized routine, the Smolov base mesocycle as an example of that. The three week base mesocycle feels horrendous. You're squatting four times a week. The volume is very, very high and it feels terrible. All the squat sessions feel really difficult. The weight feels heavy because you're always squatting from a fatigued 
state. He never fully rested. Once that mesocycle is done, you then rest for five, six, seven days, and then you go in and test your max. You'll be amazed at how much more you can lift and how smooth and comfortable it feels because of the work that you did prior to that. It's just that you've had that rest and the ability to recover completely from that work. Had you tested your rep max out one or two days after, there's not enough recovery there to actually showcase the um, increase in strength that you've created through that high volume work. So that's something to bear in mind. So I've created this strength curve, strength curve just to kind of um, showcase what I mean, to reiterate uh, my message basically. So high volume program, progress slows down as fatigue and tightness build up. And there's gonna be a lot of tightness if you're training a lot, it's as simple as that. And that's gonna prevent you from feeling comfortable, especially me, I, I just feel dreadful when that tightness goes up. Um, I'm unable to produce the kind of strength that I want to and feel capable of doing. So then just before that kind of happens and there's potentially strength loss or maybe injury, you then switch to a low volume approach and you very quickly see an initial increase in strength. And eventually that will slow down. Progress will slow down as the weights get heavier. It becomes a lot more taxing mentally as well. That's something you need to, to consider when doing full body routines. It's very mentally taxing, trying to progressively over, overload the amount of weight you're lifting on those key compounds, you know, week after week after week. So after a few weeks, few weeks, say six weeks, for example, you then cut back to the high volume approach. You just reduce the weight slightly, but you're using more weight than you were doing pre full body routine or pre low volume routine. Um, so that's the, the, the way I would kind of plan it. Um, and you must have good control of your variables um, as you approach those phases where you're slowing down. Um, because if you don't, then that's when injuries can happen, burnout can happen, even illness, um, especially when you're starting to lift heavier loads on those um, big compounds. Um, so yeah, to reiterate, I think the relationship between uh, low and high volume and vice versa works really well. If you're already training you know, five, six days a week, you're not really seeing the kind of progress you want, then consider doing less for a few weeks before then doing more again. Um, and you might be quite surprised with the results. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, then please let me know in the comments section what your thoughts on this topic. Give it a like, subscribe to see more true natural body movement videos, and check out my description box for a link to my website. I offer online coaching exclusively for natural lifters. So if you're interested, fill out a form and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again, stay strong.